Gorgeous Georgians! In 1813, repair work was carried out on the royal tombs at Windsor, and George IV was actually there when some of them were opened. Well, I suppose that's one way of getting to know your ancestors. <laughs> King George IV is well known for his love of art, fashion, architecture, Catholic women, and food. Vast amounts of food. I can hear you. I can hear you when you say that. But today, we aim to find out the truth about his past. Tracing his family tree as we ask the question, George IV, who on earth are you? We've enlisted the help of leading family historian Sir Francis Guesswork, who has come here to Windsor Castle to meet the King himself. <clears throat> well, from the records I found so far, birth certificates and that sort of thing, I think there's a very strong possibility that you are descended from royalty. Well, of course I'm descended from royalty. I'm king! Oh, so you knew? Well, my dad was king, my great-grandfather was king, and his father was king, so, uh, yeah, I had an inkling. Oh. Ah, but did you know that your great-great-great-uncle's father was also a king? Yes! King Charles I, beheaded by the Puritans. Right. Ah! But did you know that your great 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 Oh, great, this great, is boring! What are you doing? Well, how am I meant to research your relative without my notes? Well, we can go and pay them a visit if you like. How? They're dead. The family tombs in a little chapel on the castle grounds. Oh. Come on, let's go and have a look. In an unusual twist on what normally happens in this show, the King of England has taken our historian into St George's Chapel to prod some of his dead relatives. It's all gone a bit weird, really. Here we are. Who would you like to see first? Um, I don't really want to see anyone. Oh, you big girl. Look, Henry VIII. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He was a big lad. Six foot three or just under. Do you know how I know that? I got drunk and measured him. <laughs> right. Who should we look at next? I know. Charles I. I found his tomb the other day, but I haven't opened it yet. But I thought he was beheaded. No. They stitched his head back on and they buried him here. Oh, this one's sealed nice and tight. Yeah. There he is. There's old Charlie. It's very well preserved. <laughs> well, it's a well-built tomb, you see. Still had its airtight seal. Fascinating. Trouble is, of course, is that the body disintegrates rather quickly once the air gets to it. You know, bones crumbling, skin cracking, eyes popping. <laughs> eyes popping? Oh, yes. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, I guess you could say that King Charles has got his eye on you. <laughs> oh. Honestly, some people have no respect for the dead. <laughs> 